Minecraft is taking on augmented reality. The makers of the popular game recently announced an AR version for smartphone. So soon you might be able to build things in your own living room, together with your friends. But how does it work? What are the challenges? And is there more to it than just a game? Let's take a look. Many believe Minecraft Earth could become a milestone in bringing augmented reality to the mainstream audience. Wait a minute, didn't Pokemon Go already introduce an AR mode? True, but the feature isn't a necessity of playing the game. And it's a strain on smartphone performance, as well as chewing through precious battery time. Factors that make many players turn it off. In Minecraft Earth, AR is an integral part of the game. Players will be able to use the game's iconic building mechanisms in the real world to create virtual structures. And other players can see them and add to the creations too. The AR technology behind Minecraft Earth is cutting edge. Microsoft, who bought off Minecraft in 2014, already has a lot of experience in that field. One example, these mixed reality smart glasses called HoloLens. The headset was introduced to the public in 2015 and released for developers one year later. The system is aimed at professionals, architects, engineers, even doctors. But cunning developers quickly picked up on the technology as a way to bring computer games to life. Here's one concept I liked a lot. Abhishek Singh from India gave Super Mario the AR treatment. Really cool. But in an official 2015 trailer for the HoloLens, we also see a person playing Minecraft. What looked like a promotional gimmick back then is now becoming a reality. Some HoloLens technology was also used for Minecraft. One important element is the so-called tracking technology. It is used to detect and identify spaces and makes it possible to place virtual objects onto real-life surfaces. To do so, the smartphone's camera identifies surface points called features and tracks those points over time. Minecraft also uses Microsoft's so-called Azure Spatial Anchors technology. The system is able to identify and recognize real-world objects. It then places anchors on them, so the application can orient itself in real surroundings. In the process, a 3D point cloud is created. It looks something like this. The data is made available to other users as well, so your friends can see what you have built on a table, for example. That means you share the same visual points and move in the same augmented surrounding. GPS tracking is not used in this context, at least not to create these points. GPS is far too inaccurate. For Minecraft Earth, it's a case of working down to the centimeter, if not even millimeter. That point cloud we mentioned creates a kind of map. That's why this process is also referred to as mapping. The problem, however, is that our environment changes constantly. Just think of bicycles, people, cars, all of them moving elements. And our world also changes significantly with the changing of the weather. To solve that problem, Minecraft collects data while you're playing and sends it to a cloud server. The more data collected, the better the system gets at identifying which objects are always in the same place and which ones are mobile. As impressive as this sounds, it's a little bit scary too. That data might not only be used by other players, it could be of great interest for third parties as well, companies for example. Why is that scary? Just think of all the detailed information your camera would be giving away if you were building an AR castle in your own living room. Microsoft assures us that none of these images would be accessible to the public. They are only collecting specific information, for example, on public places, where adventures could take place when Minecraft is up and running. Okay, I'd really love to believe that. Minecraft is the best-selling game in the world, with some 176 million copies sold. Just think about the huge amount of potential data Minecraft Earth players could be collecting. So, it won't surprise you that the game is just the first step towards creating a 3D model of the entire planet. That's the actual goal of the Open AR Cloud project. Several companies have joined forces to achieve that and to make the data usable for services other than Minecraft. But don't we already have Street View, 3D satellite maps and GPS? What's the point? One example. Google is using similar technology to improve the accuracy of its direction service. 
Currently, the AR feature is available in a beta version. Your smartphone's camera picks up visual points around you and then displays AR directions. The big advantage of the system, it even works if the phone's GPS isn't. Microsoft's top priority for now is in improving its HoloLens services. Unfortunately, so far there are no plans to put Minecraft Earth on the system. The HoloLens is a so-called enterprise product. That means it's only accessible for companies. So the game is only available for mobile devices with Android or iOS. That's a pity. Imagine being able to walk around your city with AR glasses on and see Minecraft elements everywhere. That would be pretty cool. What do you expect from Minecraft Earth? Let us know in the comments. And if there's a digital topic you'd like us to cover, let us know as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.